And again. It's a nice shoal there by the looks of it. That's almost a fisher chuck every time that lands in that spot where we've just put some bait. Well, it's a case of seeing how deep I can go here. <laughs> That's a bit of a smoother patch over there, I think. Let's have a little look. Oh, <laughs> you. <laughs> Very rocky. Little did he know that he was about to cast into the centre of a nice shoal of chub, pulling one out after the other, cast after cast. What a lucky boy. Oh, I think it's a chub, what it feels about. Took that right on the drop then. Ooh. Second cast, right into the channel where I just put that hem. Oh, got to remember I've got lighter gear on tonight, so got to play them well. Not work it too hard. Look what we've got, nice little chub. Ooh. Ooh. They fight well, the chub in this river. They always do. That's only a little chub, but good little scrap. Oh. First chub. Nice little fish. Really clean. Little beauty. I hope that's a sign of things to come. Oh. Caught right in the corner there, come on. There he is. What a beaut. On the bank side for only five minutes nice. and we're already off to a good start. He's swimming off nicely. All we're fishing tonight is nice and simple stick float and a waggler rod, centre pin reel, seven pound line straight through, size pen hook, Cuban meat. Hook straight through. There it is. Perfect spot. Oh, gotta watch it. I've got a little tangle on here. Oh, I think we've got fish on again. Yep. Yeah. And it's typical. I've got a bit of a sp spool tangle. <laughs> it's another chub, I think. Oh, running upstream. Never chub. Same, same size as the last one. Beauty. Hooked in the exact same spot as the last one. Oh, 
Oh, slipping out. There we go. Another beautiful chub. Great fun on the centre pin. Taking that almost as soon as it hits the water, sinking down. Little scar on it. Another beauty. Well, it looks like they're feeding tonight. Well, this technique's working lovely here. There's a stick float set up. Shot button, button all star down, size 10 hook, little cuba meat hook straight on, and just flip tight into the main run. Ooh. The important thing, which I've just forgotten, is when you're catching, to make sure you keep feeding. Because they're in the area, so try and hold them in the area. And again, it's a nice shoulder there by the looks of it. That's almost a fisher chuck every time that lands in that spot where we've just put some bait. It seems to go within a few seconds of going down. It feels like a better fish. Ooh, can't do a lot with that at the moment. <laughs> Really is good sport on lighter gear on the float. Just having that control over over the fight with the centre pin just makes it a lot of fun. That's a better chub. That's a nice big chub there. Oh, that's a lot better fish. Than that there. make on that lovely fish this simple technique is pulling out chub cast after cast what a great evening he swallowed that down a bit it's a lovely fish probably three and a half four pound that chub Nice fish. We're off to a great start. See if we can fish through these chub and maybe get us a, a Bertie Barbel. Let's see if we can run that, find that line along there. Ooh. Oh, that's but take straight away. Yeah. Although our intention was to catch barbell, I think we'd happily catch chub like this all evening. Great fun this is. My favourite way of fishing, really. Oh, it's another nice chub, I think. Oh. Quite nicely. That's a good chub. Oh, oh I just the best one we've had so far. Oh, that's a very good chub. Look at that. Absolute beauty. Oh. oh, yeah. God, he's really swallowed that hook down. So, there we go. 
Look at that. Beautiful chub. Little saw on its back tail there. Little saw, but other than that. Lovely condition. Absolute beauty. Can't beat the river wide chub. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's just come off. Oh, he's on. Oh. Smaller one, but he's having a good run around. Oh, it's a smaller one. <laughs> you can see with the weed around the hook. This little one. That wasn't even a cube, that's just tears of meat now that I'm using up. Clutch on them with my finger. Oh, and again. Oh, that's a. Oh. Take that clutch back off for a minute. Oh. Another nice chub. That's a very nice chub. All hooked in the side of the main. Oh, another beauty. You didn't want me to have a look at him. <laughs> well, as you can see from the pillars in front, you can see that we're um, in front of the back knee pillars, which are quite a well-known spot, if you know the river Y. Um, back knee's positioned between Ross on Y and um, a little place called Foy, which is well, next to another little village called Hole in the Wall. It's a beautiful stretch of the river Y where it bends and twists and turns and creates lots of different uh, features and different types of water. You can see out there, you've got some fast water, you've got some deeper water, you have a, um, gravelly beaches further upstream. And I used to fish an area um, a couple of years ago, well, the year of COVID actually, 2020, uh, of the private stretch that was Backney Fishery. But that's since been taken over by new ownership and they actually closed booking for that fishery, which is unfortunate because it was a, a really, a really nice stretch but this Y and Lee area here I think it's called day ticket water from this side of the pillars it's just as beautiful if, if you ask me um, and I haven't actually fished it for a couple of years but I wanted to get away from the Avon after having a few blanks a few hard sessions or sessions I haven't caught barb or caught bream and that so we've come down here for a couple of hours this evening just to try something a bit different Well, I am enjoying this chub fishing, but part of me is tempted to move downstream to some of the deeper pools. Well, I'm at a point now where we've probably had about eight or nine chubbing. Is that just over an hour? So 
I've got to make a decision, do we stick or twist? Stick with this and Cameron probably catching chub, we don't appear to be eating any barbel, or move downstream and fish one of the deeper spots. And maybe get us a barbel. What do you reckon? <laughs> well, as you've seen in the last hour, we've had about nine chub. Some good sized chub as well. But I'm tempted now to swap for my size 10 up and go to something a bit bigger and put a bigger lump of meat on and just see if that maybe prevent some of the chub coming in after it and can maybe convince a barbel to move in and bully the rest of them out of the way. If I can not fall over and get wet. Oh. So we're gonna aim into the area where we've been seeing all these fish. Okay, wow. Not enough, or too much weight there. But basically, in order to go after some of these bigger fish, I've decided to put a bigger con, a bigger lump of meat, and chuck it out on the lead over there. Well, say on the lead, I made a little ledger link up with a few shots so it's got something to grip to and a bit of plasticine because it's it is a graveyard for swim feeders and leads over there. It is um, full of rocks. So I thought if I've got a bit of plasticine on, it'll pull through the rocks, change shape or whatever, or it'll come off if, at worst case. We've got a chance of getting something done over there. There we go, just it's that fast of water. Oh, there you go, straight away. Is that? It's a changeover of gear here. This is stronger gear, so it's gauging what it is. This was a bit better. Mm, I think it's a chub again. Yeah. For a moment, I thought we might be into a barbel, but it feels like a good chub. Wow. Can't really complain, can I? Might be after barbel, but <laughs> who can moan at catching chub like that? So we keep trying. Yeah. <laughs> Can't really grumble with that guy. <laughs> so that was a bigger bit of meat and the chub decided to just open their mouth a bit bigger. So this is just a big hook, pulled straight through. A big lump of meat. A little bit, oh, I forgot my glass, didn't I? It's a little bit of something to get it through the cast. There we go. Tucked in like that. A little bit of Plasticine on a few shots, and that is it. Let's have a go again. During the session, we did catch 12 chub, but unfortunately no barbel. Overall, it was a great session on the River Wye at Backney Bridges, and we'll be back again right. soon. Let's get out there again. If you are interested in fishing this section of the River Wye, there is a telephone number in the description below. Call this number before you attend, either the day before or the week before just to let the gentleman know you're coming and you will come around on the day and collect the money. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Out and About Angling. I appreciate it if you could hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel out a lot. Catch us next time at the River Seven at Bridge North. 
while we hunt down more Cherbin Barble.